got okay. a couple Gordon Ramsay TV pictures for your ass. Oh, great. Yeah. For me, specifically. Well, for everyone. Oh, okay, for us all. But, you know, you are often my creative director. I am? You know what's going wrong with them. Or why they're great. Oh, thank you. I will do my best to help. Gordon Ramsay's Kitchen Dirties. <laughs> Gordon, Gordon Ramsay, celebrity TV chef, beloved connoisseur of food, goes to, rather than going to kitchen nightmares, goes to pretty good restaurants that are doing well. Mm, okay. But everybody's favourite bit of kitchen nightmares is when he's going around the kitchen saying how dirty and disgusting it is, pulling out old bits of food and going, oh, this is frozen, this peseta. That's money. Something else. Why did you give that to me, you dirty pig? Come on! I can't believe you served me this shit! Doing all that. Mm, mm -hmm. That's the best bit. I was watching some uh, Kitchen Nightmares last night, and I was like, why don't they just string together just all the scenes of him just trashing people's kitchens? And then I thought, trashing other people's kitchens, that's a good idea. So that's what he does. It's basically the best bit of Kitchen Nightmares, but more destructive and in successful restaurants. Gordon Ramsay just invites himself into the kitchen. He starts ordering food, eats the food. He looks at the camera and says, this is great. I'm going to put a stop to this. Gets out of his <laughs> chair invites himself into the kitchen. Who's going to stop him? He's Gordon Ramsay and he's got a film crew. You know, they're starstruck at first. And he wanders around, just looks at the food. The food's being brought, like, passed across from the uh, cooking area to one of the waiters. He uh, gets the side of the plate roughly, then just lowers his head and just smushes his hair in the spaghetti. Just <laughs> rubs his hair in the spaghetti, then stands up and looks at it and goes, That's disgusting! <laughs> There's hair in this spaghetti. I can't believe you're going to go out there and fucking serve it to people. You dirty pig. Holy mackerel. Come on, let's sort this out. He um, goes round to the kitchen, goes to the freezer area, pulls it open. At that point, in his pocket, he's pulling out like five-day-old handfuls of shrimp and shredded meat and just throwing it at the wall like uncooked steak and he's throwing it at the wall and blood splatters just going up and down all the walls and he's got his fucking disgraceful in here i can't believe you're running a restaurant instead of a piece of shit it smells like shit and then he gets all of the food that's all nicely arranged grabs the boxes and pulls them down he's just fucking trashing the place spitting in the deep fat fryer deep fat fryer more like spit 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 <laughs> just p blowing raspberries just doing his, his tongue <laughs> razzing everything like a steak comes past picks it up <laughs> bacteria is in their mouth cook it again come on at that point he just stands there looks the mate d dead in the eye and pisses himself and he pisses just, himself. He pisses himself and just says really quietly, there's a man pissing himself in this kitchen. How can you call yourself a restaurant? Come on! Come on, you filthy animal. Is this a restaurant or a monkey house? I've finished pissing. I'm going to shit now. And he pulls down his trousers and pulls down his pants and squats and then just is straining. Just, uh, uh, why aren't you stopping me? Why aren't you stopping me from doing this? Do you want this to happen? Do you want shit all over your kitchen now? It's going to land in the piss and make a splash. Go on the scallops. Come on. Put a stop to this. Grow a spine. Show some backbone. Take charge of your own kitchen. <laughs> and at that point, you know, the mate D, either having had enough or being goaded into taking action, does take some steps toward Gordon Ramsay, at which point he reaches into his white chef's uniform, pulls out two long stiletto needles, and just points them at the mate D threateningly and just goes, ah! Ah! <laughs> Like a snake man? Yeah, but with these just long, stabby needles, these long stilettos. And every time someone goes near him, he just turns, like, wheels around and just thrusts the air in front of them with, the, with these two long needles, just going, yeah! Yeah! I'm shitting out! You couldn't prevent it! You couldn't prevent this! Credits. <laughs> I'm picturing the music being from uh, 
the Divine Comedy. I don't know if you not the the book, the uh, the guy. The band. Oh, I'm a big fan. Yeah, Casanova. You oh. know how at the end the music's like da 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 da. <laughs> Da, 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 da. It's like very, very, very pleasant. It's about as pleasant as it gets. That would be perfect end credits music for that, I think. There we go. What, what a nice idea. That? It would be a rating smash, to I say the least. It. Yes. Of course, Gordon Ramsay would be jailed and or uh, <laughs> career ended. But that one episode, the ratings would be amazing. <laughs> Through the roof, mate. Yeah. Had another simpler one. Oh, yeah? But in many ways, possibly better. Whoa. Gordon Ramsay's kitchen mispronunciations. Gordon Ramsay, again, invites himself without being asked into the kitchens of various restaurants and just corrects people on the way they're saying certain food items. Except, you know, wrongly. Just almost just a fuck with them. But he's, he shows no inkling he finds this funny. And he's furious. So when someone says, um, you know, Table 34's ordered spaghetti, he just looks at the uh, waiter and just says, what? S spaghetti. What? S spaghetti. You know, long threads of pasta noodles. and this It's Pescescums. Get it right. <laughs> and he's really, like, just pissed off. Because, you know, they're saying spaghetti instead of Pescescums. And, you know, the, sh the chef's asking where the steak is. And Gordon Ramsay, you know, they're trying to conduct business. And he's just barging his way in the middle of the chef and the uh, sous chef. What? Get out of the way, Gordon Ramsay. I'm trying to do it. Don't tell me to get out of the way. 15 Michelin stars, you prick. Come on. And the chef's saying, I'm trying to get a steak. Because they've been waiting for 25 minutes. I need to finish the steak. The what? The steak. The what? The steak! You mean the steak? <laughs> the steak? S T A M K. It's not hard. Steak. Say it right. And he will like get right up in people's faces, physically intimidating. Until I let's guess. say steak. At which point he gives them just this almost look of contempt for caving. Just this slight look of, of dissatisfaction that they gave up. Just a, ugh, just sneers a little and then glowers up. Finishes Big Mac that he brought with him. He brought a Big Mac with him to the restaurant? Yeah, and the way he's eating it implies he's doing it to be rude. <laughs> I'm picturing the pauses. I'm picturing the editing. Cutting over to just his face with his eyebrows slightly raised. As if he's, like, awaiting a challenge to what he's doing as he's just slowly chewing the Big Mac. Which is not a great hamburger. <laughs> no. He's, he's not even really enjoying it. It's a little gross. But he's like, huh? Yeah? Anything to say? Yeah. Well, that's a fine idea, too, Jim. Scallops! <laughs> Scam pumps! <laughs> that one could last for a lot longer. I mean, that he's one. got a... a, a, a limitless supply of things he can do. He can go up to the bar and say, you're not serving them wine, it's pronounced Trinidad! Trinidad? Like the place? Yeah. Uh, well, well, the, the, the customers would come up and say, yes, I'd like the uh, Chardonnay, the white wine, and then what, Gordon Ramsay yells at them too? The Chardonnay Trinidad? and the white wine! You mean the Chardon crumbs and the white Trinidad! <laughs> Go back be... and finish your sclowns! <laughs>